Hello everyone, this is an explanation video on the giant squid farm I showed yesterday. Also I want to show the smaller version which you could build in your survival world. Um, so we did a lot of testing, Nesm, Nesmus and me. Uh, yeah, Nesm also came up with the original idea to use the lab uh, for a squid farm. And uh, it works in all 1.8 versions and also in the latest snapshot that squids spawn in lava. I also checked the bug tracker and yeah doesn't look like they are working on that bug at the moment. Um, yeah, so let's compare the water and a uh, lava based farm. So let's turn on the water based one for that. And yeah, you can see the main disadvantage of the water uh, based version right away. So the water columns um, always need um, air next to it or the squids won't fall down, because the squids can swim against the current now. And if you move away and see some squids spawning, you can see the second disadvantage, th th which is that the squids don't fall down immediately. So it, sometimes they swim up before they fall, and that's the main reason why the water-based farm is uh, slower compared to the lava-based one. I did some testing and with this uh, water based farm I got five and a half thousand squid ink per hour and with the lava based one over here which has a smaller footprint and also uses less dispensers than this one I got fourteen and a half thousand squid ink per hour so yeah, smaller farm but almost triple the output um, yeah, let's turn this one on so you can see and yeah, the lava is dispensed and then it starts to split up. So as you can see it, it uses the whole uh, space for spawning spaces. The one, the big one I showed yesterday um, didn't have this uh, pattern here, uh, which you might know from sugarcane farms that uses the space uh, yeah, the most efficient way. And yeah, lava is almost done. So if I move away you can right away see the squid spawning and they can't swim in lava, they will always fall down straight away. They can't, uh, compared to the water, they can't uh, swim up or anything. They just fall down and die. So that's the main reason why the lava based farm is a lot faster. Let's also take a quick look at the redstone and the uh, collecting system here. So the uh, squid ink is collected by a hopper minecart. And because this farm is uh, faster than a hopper can transfer items, we have a double unloading system here. Uh, there's a hopper minecart in between those two iron blocks. Uh, you just need to place down a minecart and push uh, iron blocks in from the top to get that. And yeah, that's double the speed. And that's for the unloading system. You, you, can, you can turn it on by deflecting this redstone dust um, with this detector rail and yeah the also the rail needs an update that's why this uh, torch is here so yeah if you turn it off then detector rail is pushed in here and a little bit later the rail get, gets an update from this redstone torch also if you turn it on and off there's a dual edge uh, pulse generator at the top to turn the yeah dispensers on and off so that's all the redstone that's to it. So yeah, as you can see, redstone is deflected and the rail is always turned off, so the minecart won't move anymore. And at the top, the dispenser sucked in the lava again. And then just have to wait until it's uh, flown down. Okay, uh, now let's take a quick look at the big farm again that I showed yesterday. So back at the giant farm, um, like in a mushroom farm, uh, this farm uh, works by exceeding the mob cap. Normally you only could have uh, five squids in your world and if you have five squids in the world no more squids will spawn. Um, like in a mushroom farm, so at the beginning of the tick the game checks how many squids are in the world and yeah if you have uh, five or more then the no spawning attempts are made but if you have less than five for example four or, or zero then the normal spawning algorithm uh, yeah is working and the game attempts to spawn squids in each chunk 
and if uh, multiple of those uh, attempts are successful uh, this way you could have more than five uh, squids in a world uh, substantially more uh, I guess in this farm you would have on average about 25 squids um, you can also see this phenomenon in a normal ocean biome for example which also provides ton of spawning spaces so it's not uncommon to see more than 10 or 15 uh, squids in an ocean biome also the mob cap is just five so that's yeah the same behavior there uh, so yeah we prov just provide a ton of spawning spaces that's over 100,000 spawning spaces for squid and the rest of the farm is yeah very comparable to uh, um, a guardian farm so yeah can turn off the hopper minecarts here um, just by deactivating the unloading system and the top can turn off the dispensers I don't have the vision pattern here uh, maybe I'll change it in the world download by extending the mock cap, this farm yields about 60 to 65,000 drops per hour. And let's take a look in our chest. Yep, that fills up nicely. And that's, yeah, the farm is not really the limit. If you would use the whole 128 block radius around the player, I think you could make this even uh, three times as big. So I guess 200,000 squid ink would be the maximum possible in Minecraft. Okay, um, as always, check the world downloads if you're interested in building this. Um, have a good day and goodbye.